Hey y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is your girl Essence of Shay. Welcome back to my podcast, Dear Sis. This is episode two. Um, I'm going to speak at a higher uh, level because my mic sti- Go. Ladies, peace and blessings to y'all. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey? Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hey, Tango Lee Squad Gang Gang. How you living? How you breathing? How you feeling? Anyways, this is my Darius's podcast. I do appreciate every one of you guys who tuned into my first episode as mer- like a catch up. Um, I was gonna do a trailer. I got lazy. I ain't gonna hold you. But um, in today's episode, I really don't know what the topic is, um, but I kind of do know, but let's see. So I was reading through stuff in my journal because you guys know I told you that I'm on a 90, 60 day reset so I can enter the year of 2024 in a good space. You feel what I'm saying? Well, in a better space than I am in currently. So that involves my physical, my mental, my spiritual, just everything for me. And um, I would like people to come along with me, but at the end of the day, if they aren't, and if I don't have anybody to come along with me, I am starting to be uh, like, like, not consent, I'm, I'm starting to be okay with that. So let's get right into it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. Leave a comment down below for your girl. Um, if and I say anything during this, if you have questions below, or you want to add on to it, leave it in the comment box below. So this is the uh, journal that I have. It's just a whole bunch of black girls, which is kind of fitting. Different hairstyles, black love, black girl magic. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm stuttering. So on April 1st, 2023, I wrote in my journal, what is wrong with me? For as long as I could remember, I have wanted, all I have wanted was to be chosen and accepted. I have done everything from lying about who and where my end was to stealing clothes to fit in from lying to get sympathy and love from friends, family, and boyfriends. I never feel like I'm good enough. I never feel like I am chosen for just me. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like I've always got to pretend to be someone or fake like I got something or no people for people to accept me and eventually they leave. I am 39 years old, not married, no kids, struggling and have one friend, but I don't even know if that's really my friend. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know how to fix it. I really do not know, I really do not want to die alone. I have no legacy. I really do not like myself. I really don't. My hair is falling out. I want to be better. I honestly don't know where to start. So I guess today's episode will be what's wrong with me. And while reading that, um, wow. Sometimes when you, you write a journal entry, you're just writing from a place of where you're feeling currently. And when you go back to read it, do you guys ever go back to read like your past journal entries? Leave it in the comment box below. When you go back and you read stuff, the mind space that you were in that particular day, Sometimes you're like, Jesus. I am 39 years old, not married, no child, struggling. I have one friend, but I don't even know if that's really my friend. 
I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know how to fix it. I really don't want to die alone. One of my things that I am completely and utterly scared about is dying alone. Like my spiritual growth is growing. My spiritual relationship with the most high and is growing. I will say that. So technically I will not be alone because God will be with me. But I mean, and then I have my family, you know, my mom, my siblings. I feel like, oh, I'm getting. I feel like, I mean, like a village. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I feel like friendships like meaningful ones, not ones for the sake of a benefit of some sort, and a partner. Um, that's what I, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like that's probably what I meant. In getting more in getting in doing a 60 day reset, one of the things that I discussed was get becoming better mentally. And becoming better mentally with myself means that I have to face some honest truths and be honest with myself. And I'm not trying to do this for trigger bonding or anything like that, no. I'm doing it because a lot of times people come on social media and they really just talk about the good or they talk about like where they at and where they are right and how they got there, but there's no in between, right? And I wanted to be honest with you guys and this is what this podcast is about, right? Um, I am scared to die alone. Um, for the majority of my life, I was an extrovert. I said was because when COVID-19 hit and quarantine started, and quarantine started, um, I was by myself a majority of the time. One, because I'm in a new state. I had just moved here a couple months before. I really didn't know anybody. People I knew were through somebody else, which we'll talk in another podcast about, about that situation. And be honest about that. Because, right, we gotta, in order to heal, we gotta be fully honest. Um, I had no family down here. It was literally just me. And I became recluse. I became an introvert for real. Like if I went outside, I had so much anxiety about being outside by myself, about um, wondering how I looked, uh, why nobody wanted to call. Like it was just a whole depressed, I can single-handedly say that I was depressed. Um, and I was depressed for probably about two, two years straight. Um, that did a number on me, that quarantine situation really did a number on me, on me and my people pleasing got onto an all time high, mainly because I really just did not, I learned that I just don't like being by myself. I, that forced me to be by myself, but I really understood like, I don't like being by myself. And I tried to figure out what died, why, what, what was that dynamic? And more so it was because like I'm raised in a big family. I really wasn't really by myself. Even when I went to college, I'm always a girl who can make friends like that. I'm always surrounded by people, you know what I mean? But that went into what I said in my journal. I talked about switching up, switching codes for other people just so I could fit in. I was a master at it. Gemini, master at it. They say we're double two-faced. That could be a good or a bad thing. We can fit in and mold into whatever we need to for the time being. You get what I'm saying? It's a good and a bad thing because then um, it makes you sometimes not realize, is this really me or is this somebody me 
for somebody else. Am I real? Do I really like doing this? And um, I'm starting to see now that a lot of my life, I don't want to say wasted, but a lot of my life was consumed around pleasing other people and making sure that they are good to the point where now I'm about to turn 40 and a lot of the things that I saw for myself and wanted to accomplish, I just didn't. So to the title, what's wrong with me? I think what's wrong with me is that I don't see the power that I possess. Um, I don't see the amazing person that I am. I don't see fully my potential. I don't forgive myself quickly and fully as though I forgive others. I don't give myself chances. I'm too hard on myself. I think the question, what's wrong with me? I could say those are the things that's wrong with me. And that's what I'm trying to um, figure out. I am looking for a new therapist. Um, therapy is something that I truly do believe in. I feel like there's a lot of wounds. And each episode I'm going to just kind of dissect relationships that I've been in and possibly learn as I talk to you guys about it. And maybe you guys could like leave in comment box below what you gathered from that sort of stuff either too, I mean. Um, because each relationship has taught me something about myself but also something about people and realizing that i took a lot of that blame for myself and stayed in situations longer than i needed to be which kind of pulled away from me and kept taking those petals away those the rose is full and each relationship just plucked another petal, plucked it away, and it didn't have chance to grow back because something else plucked. You know what I mean? Um, so I do have this question that I saw. Um, it says, am I taking care of myself mentally? Um, and this is a question for you as well. Are you taking care of yourself mentally? For me, not 100%. And if I could be honest, out of 100, probably 30% is what I'm doing. Um, like I said, I'm learning to not beat myself up so much um, about where I am in my life right now and where I want to be. I am taking the steps to get where I want to be. Like I told you guys, I'm in school. Come on, come on, come on. She in school, never too late, right? Right, right, uh, never too late. Um, I'm in school to get my degree in psychology. Um, I'm still trying to figure out if I wanna get this master's because, child. But anyways, um, the goal is to open a practice and then underneath the practice is to have a, a tea shop, a Caribbean tea shop, um, where I have baker, baking and pastries and food and different drinks like sorrel and, you know? Um, that's the goal. It's just never, I, I, always, I always see my life as you get older, just pass by super quickly. And I always feel like I've just lost so much time but that's just like the mindset, going back to the question, uh, am I taking care of myself mentally? And the mindset was always like, listen, Shay, time is going by so fast and you ain't doing nothing. Like this year, I 
haven't really done anything. I haven't created as much as I wanted to. I throw a little things out here and there. Am I really proud of it? I'll be honest, no. I just throw it out so people don't forget who I am. Um, I haven't been the essence of Shay that people know me to be on social media, which is the creative, the spunky, the spicy. And what I was on social media is really who I am in person. So like the fact that I wasn't even showing that on social media is truly how I was living my life, am living my life. Like, I feel like for a very long time, I had like a dark cloud over my head and I really felt like God did not like me. Like, I read something else in a journal. I think I'll read it next week, but like, I thought God did not like me at all. I just didn't understand like, why keep putting me through stuff, knowing that one, I'm either gonna make the wrong choice or two, I'm gonna come out at the other side, but it's gonna break me down to the point where I just, I don't know what to do. I see other people like thriving and doing their stuff who've done some shady shit. <laughs> if I could be a buck and they are just winning. And I'm just like, like, this, like God hate me, bro. And I said that a lot, like, I have thought a lot that God just do not like me. He do not rock with the kid. Like, like, and I don't know why I got out of that mindset. I cannot tell you, I won't lie. But like for a long time, I truly felt like God did not like me. I truly felt like it doesn't matter what I do, even when I'm trying to stay on the straight and never I'm doing the right thing, something always came, slam, knock me out. And I'm starting right back all over again. What is wrong with me? I thought that God hated me. What is wrong with me? And this is probably crazy to say, but it's facts. Like I used to be jealous of my little brother, like the one right after me because he's very successful. I ain't trying to put his business out there, but he makes good money. He's doing what he went to school for. He actually enjoys it. He found somebody that loves him for him. Um, they got married like like that. They traveled the world together. They, they moved in together before even, like he found his wing, you know? And I'm just like sitting here like, what about me that, that cannot get that? What about, what about me? objects that in this realm what about me and that sucks to say that out loud but like i have to be honest there was a time where i was like super jealous of my little brother like that's crazy to say you know but i really felt like what about me is not deserving i'm sorry y'all what about me is not deserving of these things why why can't i get it you know but anyways we're healing <laughs> we're healing and we're learning things about ourselves and facing the hard truth and sometimes that's where it is and it's just never too late because in this step of my life, like I really want this next decade to be of love and joy and peace. And it starts with me and healing me from the inside out. You know, it, it starts with me because I will not allow what happened and the lanes that I went down and the decisions that I made that led me up to here where I'm sitting in front of you guys to happen in the next decade. I will not allow it. I will not allow it. I have God by my side fully because I fully committed to making him my pilot instead of me being a pilot and then he's my co-pilot. No, he's my pilot. 
I'm the co-pilot. Matter of fact, he's driving and I'm in the trunk. And it's hard for me to give up that control, but I realize I have to, because what I've been doing seemed to be working for the time being, but it really wasn't. Can we be real? It really wasn't. It really wasn't. So, in the comment box below, tell me what is wrong with you. Tell me what is wrong with you. What is something that in this week you're going to work on? So this week, what I'm going to work on is being my, my cheerleader. This is what I'm going to work on this week is being my cheerleader and not looking at it from looking for it from anybody else being my cheerleader, big myself up. If I see like, I don't feel like doing something, I don't need somebody else to be like, yo, Shay, come on. I'm gonna be like, Shay, what, what did we say? Let, let's do this. If I feel like I don't look good, negative thoughts, quickly. Girl, you do not need makeup to be, oh, that's another thing. Mentally, I've been doing so much damaging stuff in my subconscious that is now coming out in my body. I'm gonna put out a picture. Sorry y'all, the camera stopped. But essentially this week, what I'm going to work on is being my own cheerleader. Uh, what are you going to work on? Leave it in the comment box below. And also tell me what is wrong with you. Like, let's keep it up. What do you think is wrong with you? Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this podcast. Um, I have a hair video coming out this week as well. Um, but yeah, y'all, I love y'all so much. I really so gang gang. Y'all know I, lo I love y'all all the way, long way, not the short. See you later, talking lilies. Both say bye. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Toodles. Uh, crash course. Let me have the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with